Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about parameter and area using algebra tiles. So um, parameter, just an introduction on this. Uh, parameter will give us an idea on how to combine like terms. And the area that we have here will be used in the next lesson that we're going to have where we are going to factor using area as a product and area as a sum. I will put the link of that video in the description box below and I will put that link of that video also up here where again, we use the area to factor using the concept of area as a product and area as a sum. Okay, so let's have a little review on the algebra tiles. So all these tiles have been lab labeled. So this is our x squared tile. So which means that um, all of the sides here are x's. So all of the sides are x's. So um, this x squared here is actually the area for this tile because you have x times x is x squared. So the one that we, uh, that we actually write in the middle is the area. And these ones right here are the measures around it. So this one right here, since the area here is x because uh, this is actually x here and this side right here is one. And then, so we have x times one, the area is x. Here, this is one unit right here. So um, most of the, most of, in the textbook that we have, uh, they don't write one over here, but um, this small tiles right here, or these small squares uh, will have actually a measure of one because the sides here would be one and one. Okay, so let's go into the, let's jump into the first one right here. Again, we are supposed to determine the parameter and we determine the area of these given tiles. Again, parameter will give us, a, will give us an idea on uh, combining like terms and the area will give us an idea. We're going to use it, the concept of area, we're going to use it in um, factoring using the area as a sum and product. So let's take the measures for this. Let's take the, uh, let's find the parameter first. So I'm going to write um, P here, which stands for parameter. And then the other one is area. Okay. So to find the parameter, that's the measure around the figure. So I'm going to label all of the parts around it. So this will be X because this is like an X squared uh, tile. That means all the sides are X's. So this is another X right here. This side right here is, uh, this is like an X tile. So this side is one. This is one. This is X. This is another X. Since this is a one unit tile. So that means this is one, one one and one here. This is another one and one. This is an X tile. So this side right here is X. This is one. So all of this would be ones here. Now this side right here is an X. So that is an X squared. So we labeled everything around it. To find the parameter, we are supposed to combine like terms. So first we're gonna count all the X's. I will use red for the X's. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I go around, I count the, the number of X's. Because again, the parameter is the measure around the figure. So when we, we, we go around it, we, we add all of them. So there are six X's. So I write six X. And then I'm going to count all of the ones. I combine them all together. So that would be one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So the parameter of this picture right here can be represented in an expression six x plus twelve. Okay, so this is the parameter. Now let's find the area. To find the area, we remember that the number inside the tile is actually the area. So this time around, we count all the areas. We're going to combine them. So we actually could see um, two, two x squared tiles. I'm going to write two x squared. So there are one and two. Let's count the x's. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So plus eight x's. And then let's count the, the ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is a plus eight. And this is the area for this um, picture or for this rectangle right here. Now, at this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. 
Okay, so let's go over this. We're gonna label the parts first. So this would be X, this is one, this is X. These are all ones over here. That's one and X and this is one. One, one and one and this is an X. So then the parameter for this, the expression to find the parameter would be we count all the X's. So that is four X, one, two, three, four. So four X. We count the the ones one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. So four x plus ten. This is the expression to find for the parameter. Now let's find the area. The area again is we combine like terms inside. There's only one x squared. So just I'll just go ahead and write x squared plus. I count all the x's one two three four five. So there are five x's. And then I count the ones, one, two, three, four, and that's a plus four. This is the expression to find for the area. Did you get the same answers as these? Good, perfect. Now let's move on to another example right here. This next example is pretty, um, there's a little trick on this. Uh, it's different from the other ones that we did. So I'm, we're going to go over this. It's pretty much the same thing. The first thing we do is we label the parts to find the parameter. So I'm going to label the parts here. So this is one here. This is one. This is another one. This is X. This is one here. This is X. This is one and one. This is X. This is one. This one right here is also a one. Now the problem here is what is this part right here only? It doesn't cover everything. Others are going to think that, oh, that's an X right there. But remember, we are only looking at this highlighted part. It's not the whole thing. So if there are some covered parts, what we do actually is this whole thing, we know that it's an X. So others have thought that, oh, that's an X right there. So we know that. But it, it, it stops here. It starts from here all the way here. So it doesn't go all the way. And we know that this is a 1 and this is a 1. So how do we express this? This would be x minus 2. So if the whole thing was x, we subtract two parts of this. So that's x minus 2. So then to find the parameter, so to find the parameter here, we add all the x's. So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's 4x, and then we count all the ones. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we, we start again over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's plus 8. And then we still have a minus 2 over here. So I go ahead and write minus 2 right there. So then the parameter would be 4x, 8 minus 2 is 6. So this is the parameter of this, um, the parameter of this picture. Now let's find the area. The area is pretty much the same thing. We just have to add the ones that are inside. So the area right here is actually x squared. So we only have 1x squared. Then we have 2x's. So plus 2x. Then we count the 1. So 1, 2, 3. So that's a plus 3. So this is the uh, expression for the area. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, we go over the problem here. So again, this is x, x, 1, 1, 1, and 1 over here. And then this is a 1 and this is an x. Now, I know others have figured this out already based on the example that we have over there. How many parts have been covered? Again, we only need this part to find the parameter. We don't need this because that's covered right there. So it's not, it's not on the outside. So that means this is x minus 1 because there's one part covered. It's different from here because there were two covered parts. There's only one covered part. So the x was covered one time. So then we can find the parameter by um, adding all of the um, all of the uh, x's first. So this would be one, two, three, four. So that's four x. And then we count the ones here. One, two, three, four, five. So that's four x plus five. We still have a minus one. So then the final answer for this is four x plus four. Did you get 4x plus 4 as your answer? Good. Perfect. 
Now let's go over, uh, let's find the area. So to find the area, all we need to do is just to add them all up. So this would be x squared, there's only one, so that's x squared plus there's also one x, so just write x, and then there's a one tile right there, one unit tile, so that's x squared plus x plus one. Did you get the same answer as this? Good, perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!